This channel supports Extra Life in its efforts to raise money for the Children's Miracle Network. For more information about how to donate and join in their efforts, go to the link displayed here. Extra Life. Play games. Heal kids. What up everybody? This is your boy Black Megan saying it's been a minute since I talked football with you guys and what is not a perfect time to talk football than after the Super Bowl? Um, up late taking care of some things, so I got a few minutes to spare after watching that interesting game um now i know a lot of people are sitting at home thinking how quote-unquote boring the game was how bad it was it was actually a good football game from the perspective of of um the way the game is played i mean the game held to one of the old um sayings that has hung around in sports not just football but in sports for years, and that's defense wins championships. Um, in this game, that statement couldn't have been no more truer, as we saw two solid defenses pretty much stifle both teams' offenses. Although, I will say this, a lot of um, Denver struggles have been something that's been a plague to them all year, and that's They've not been able to really move the ball with the new offense that Kubiak brought in. Peyton being older. Um, you know, just all types of things on the offensive side kind of complicated things for them. And they weren't that great of an offensive team. However, on the defensive side, Broncos showed out this year. Um, in turn, Carolina, you know, they were pretty much a juggernaut on both sides of the ball um, most of the season. You know, great defense, high-scoring offense. You know, they were able to put up a lot of points, mostly because they were able to balance, even though they had deficiencies. You know, we look at Carolina's offensive roster. They, they aren't the sexiest in the world, especially in their receiving core. Their receivers, you know, they're cool, but they're not, you know, they don't really have any standout. Um go-to guy on their roster uh for me with carolina it was more of a balancing act the run spawned the passing game um as long as they were able to maintain uh, some type of running game and to keep people off balance with cam and his legs the passing game was able to open up and flourish um well what you got this game was even though both offenses really didn't do anything Denver's defense put on a spectacular show, in particular Von Miller. Um, Von Miller, he, you know, that dude, that dude had an amazing game. It's funny, I got into a debate with a friend where he was trying to say that he feels like Von Miller is the best defensive player, you know, better than J.J. Watt. And I'm like, well, I don't think that's true. But this game is kind of like a herald to what he can be. You know, he's definitely um, working his way to being probably the most dominant pass rusher. Um, this game showed, like, when he's on, he's fucking, like, unstoppable. The guy, you know, at, at one point I was saying on Twitter that DeMarcus Ware probably should get it because, you know, he was just all over the quarterback. And someone tweeted to me how... No, it's Von Miller. But as I kept watching the game, I realized why they would say that. Because when you looked at all of the, um, you know, pressure that was put on Cam, um, some of the sacks, a lot of that was facilitated by Von Miller. The things that don't show up in his stats are when he flushes the quarterback into other defenders and things like that. Um, you know, he was he he. he was very disruptive, and the defense as a whole was very disruptive. I mean, again, Carolina's receivers aren't the greatest bunch, so that provided Denver the opportunity to play as much man as possible and get after Cam. And when you got DeMarcus Ware, Von Miller coming at you from each end, it's kind of scary. And then that, they were getting a good push up the middle too, which didn't make it any better. Um, So... You know, they they just didn't afford Cam in the Carolina offense any time to try to get off. Um, Carolina wasn't able to run consistently, 
So therefore, they weren't able to keep them off balance, even though Cam got off a couple of times. Um, you know, he his what he did with his legs didn't do enough. Um, they didn't it, they didn't let him get to a point where they were back on their heels. They were able to stick to their game plan and just take Carolina completely out. Um, even so, even though Peyton wasn't able to really put together much on offense. The defense was putting them in such good position that all they had to do was just get enough to kick some field goals. You know what I mean? And it it it, it was a it was a good game from that defensive perspective because you know you saw two very dominating defenses like control the game, and it was just you know at the end of the day, Denver was just able to do enough, where Carolina wasn't able to do pretty much anything at all. Um, and, you know, phenomenal performance by the Denver defense. Um, Carolina has nothing to be shamed about. They hang it, they hung in there. They scrapped. Um, they had a tremendous season and they will definitely be back. Um, if they can keep the core of that defense together and just get Cam, <clears throat> maybe one more receiver, get him, give, get him a quote unquote go-to guy, perhaps. And I'm not saying you need to get him like an all-world receiver, but just get him like, you know, that dependable rock. And he's good to go. Um, So, you know, you'll see Carolina again. Denver definitely will, although they may not get back as soon because right now they probably have a quarterback issue because looking at Peyton, um, that whole game, it's time. Uh, you know. Guy's had a phenomenal career. He can close out with his second Super Bowl. Um, I think it's time. His body is telling him it's time. Um, you know, he it, it's not like he's lost anything upstairs. You know, he's still probably the smartest quarterback in the league. Um, can break down defenses better than probably you know ninety percent of the league quarterback. But you know, the execution is not there anymore. I mean. The neck surgery caused him to lose some of his arm, so he had to use his legs more and be a lot more crafty. But he has um, what is it, planches, fasciitis? I forget exactly how to um, pronounce it correctly, so forgive me. But you know, his feet he he can't balance and drive off his legs with that pain. So he, he even you know he's not able to put enough strength to muster those passes over. You saw some of the passes where they should have been intercepted. Carolina probably should have intercepted a couple of those, two or three, but they didn't because he couldn't drive on the ball enough to get it over. You know, He was trying to make those Peyton Manning throws where he's able to place it over the top, put it in the right spot, and he just was not able to put things in the right spot anymore because he just had nothing behind his throws. Uh, you know, He's got the second ring. He can go out like John Elway at, as a winner. Just leave. You know, there's nothing more for him to prove to anybody. He, he, what more can he do? I mean, what is like all time, one of the all time greatest passing quarterbacks ever. I think he owns the record for touchdowns and I think passing yards. Um, You know, all his numbers rank high. The consistency that he's shown before the injury was ridiculous. Um, yeah, you know, he's done. He's done more than enough to like be able to walk off a legend. Um, in five years, you'll be in the Hall of Fame, dude. Chill out, relax. You're gonna still be in the public eye because you're a great personality. You get all of these endorsements. You know, you'll be like Joe Montana showing up everywhere, or Jerry Rice, and all of them. So, hey, dude, just chill. Give your body a break. Give your mind a break. Just just leave it be. And now with these um, HGH allegations coming, just walk away and just don't be bothered with that stuff. But, um, yeah, congratulations to the Denver Bronco. I know a couple of people who are, like, extremely excited. Um, congrats to you guys. Congrats to the Carolina Panthers for a great year. Carolina fans, you have nothing to be ashamed of. You guys are going to be bouncing right back. I mean, teams young, the key components 
are just about all locked down. You got a great core. You 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 should be fine. If you're not in the Super Bowl next year, you're going to be contending for it year in year out. Um, so Carolina fans, you're gonna get your ring. Trust me. If as long as you keep the core of that team together, you know Cam is gonna dab on them and get that um Super Bowl ring. But anyway, as always, you guys hit me up. Let me know what you think, and I'll holler at you later. This your boy Black Makers, and I'm out. Deuces.